Session 12, January 28, 1981. I am Ra. I greet you in the love and light of the infinite creator I communicate now. Question. In the last session, you mentioned that the Orion Crusaders came here in chariots. Could you describe the chariots? I am Ra. The term chariot is a term used in warfare among your people. That is its significance. The shape of the Orion craft is one of the following. Firstly, the elongated, ovoid shape, which is of a darker nature than silver, but which has a metallic appearance, is seen in the light. In the absence of light, it appears to be red or fiery in some manner. Other craft include disc-shaped objects of a small nature, approximately 12 feet in your measurement and diameter. Other craft can take on a desired shape through the use of thought control mechanism. There are various civilization complexes which work within this group. Some are more able to use intelligent infinity than others. The information is very seldom shared, therefore the chariots vary greatly in shape and appearance. Question. Is there any effort on the part of the Confederation to stop the Orion chariots from arriving here? I am raw. Every effort is made to quarantine this planet. However, the network of guardians, much like any other pattern of patrols on whatever level, does not hinder each and every entity from penetrating quarantine. For if request is made in light love, the law of one will be met with acquiescence. If the request is not made due to the slipping through the net, then there is penetration of this net. Question. Who makes this request? I am Ra. Your query is unclear. Please restate. I don't understand how the Confederation stops the Orion chariots from coming through the quarantine. I am Ra. There is a contact at a level of light form or light body being, depending upon the vibratory level of the Guardian. These guardians sweep reaches of the Earth's energy field to be aware of any entities approaching. An entity which is approaching is hailed in the name of the One Creator. Any entity thus hailed is bathed in love light and will of free will obey the quarantine due to the power of the Law of One. Question. What would happen to the entity if he had not obeyed the quarantine after being hailed? I am raw. To not obey quarantine after being hailed on the level of which we speak would be equivalent to you not stopping upon walking into a solid brick wall. Question. What would happen to the entity if he did this? What would happen to his chariot? I am raw. The Creator is one being. The vibratory level of those able to breach the quarantine boundaries is such that upon seeing the love light net, it is impossible to break this law. Therefore, nothing happens. No attempt is made. There is no confrontation. The only beings who are able to penetrate the quarantine are those who discover windows or distortions in the space-time continua surrounding your planet's energy field. Through these windows they come. These windows are rare and unpredictable. Question. Does this account for what we call UFO flaps, where a large number of UFOs show up like in 1973? Ra, this is correct. Question. Are most of the UFOs which are seen in our skies from the Orion group? Ra, many of those seen in your skies are of the Orion group. They send out messages. Some are received by those who are oriented toward service to others. These messages then are altered to be acceptable to those entities while warning of difficulties ahead. This is the most that self-serving entities can do when faced with those whose wish it is to serve others. The contacts which the group finds most helpful to the cause are those contacts made with entities whose orientation is towards service to self. There are many thought-form entities in your skies which are of a positive nature and are the projections of the Confederation. Question. You mentioned that the Orion Crusaders, when they get through the net, give both technical and non-technical information. I think I know what you mean by technical information, but what type of non-technical information do they give? Am I right in assuming that this is done by telepathic contact? Ra, this is correct. Through telepathy, the philosophy of the Law of One, with the distortion of service to self, is promulgated. In advanced groups, there are rituals and exercise given, and these have been written down just as the service to others oriented entities have written down the promulgated philosophy of their teachings. The philosophy concerns the service of manipulating others that they may experience service towards the other self. Thus, through this experience, becoming able to appreciate service to self. These entities would become oriented toward service to self, and in turn manipulate yet others, so that they in turn might experience a service towards the other self. Question. Would this be the origin of what we call black magic? Ra. This is correct in one sense, incorrect in another. 
the Orion Group has aided the so-called negatively oriented among your mind-body-spirit complexes. These same entities would be concerning themselves with service to self in any case, and there are many upon your so-called inner planes which are negatively oriented and thus available as inner teachers or guides and so-called possessors of certain souls who seek this distortion of service to self. Question. Is it possible for an entity here on earth to be so confused as to call both the Confederation and the Orion Group in an alternating way, first one, then another, and then back to the first again? Ra, it is entirely possible for the untuned channel, as you call that service, to receive both positive and negative communication. If the entity at the base of its confusion is oriented toward service to others, the entity will begin to receive messages of doom. If the entity at the base of the complex of beingness is oriented toward service to self, the crusaders, who in this case do not find it necessary to lie, will simply begin to give the philosophy that they are here to give. Many of your so-called contacts among your people have been confused and self-destructive because the channels were oriented toward service to others, but in the desire for proof were open to the line information in the crusaders who were then able to neutralize the effectiveness of the channel. Question. Are most of these crusaders fourth density? Ra. There is a majority of fourth density that is correct. Question. Is an entity in the fourth density normally invisible to us? Ra. The use of the word normal is one which befuddles the meaning of the question. Let us rephrase for clarity. The fourth density is, by choice, not visible to third density. It is possible for fourth density to be visible. However, it is not the choice of the fourth density entity to be visible due to the necessity for concentration upon a rather difficult vibrational complex, which is the third density you experience. Question. Are there any confederation or Orion entities living upon the earth and operating visibly among us in our society at this time? Ra, there are no entities of either group walking among you at this time. However, the crusaders of Orion use two types of entities to do their bidding, shall we say. The first type is the thought form, the second a kind of robot. Question, could you describe the robot? Ra, the robot may look like any other being. It is a construct. Question. Is the robot what is normally called the men in black? Ra. This is incorrect. Question. Who are the men in black? Ra. The men in black are a thought form type of entity which have some beingness to their makeup. They have certain physical characteristics given them. However, their true vibrational nature is without third density vibrational characteristics and therefore they are able to materialize and dematerialize when necessary. Question. Are all of these men in black then used by the Orion Crusaders? Ra, this is correct. Question. You spoke of wanderers. Who are wanderers and where do they come from? Ra, imagine if you will the sands of your shores, as countless as the grains of sand are the sources of intelligent infinity. When a social memory complex has achieved its complete understanding of its desire, it may conclude that its desire is service to others, with the distortion towards reaching their hand, figuratively, to any entities who call for aid. These entities, whom you may call the brothers and sisters of sorrow, move toward this calling of sorrow. These entities are from all reaches of the infinite creation, and are bound together by the desire to serve in this distortion. Question. How many of them are incarnate on earth now? Ra, the number is approximately due to any heavy influx of these births at this time, due to an intensive need to lighten the planetary vibration, and thus aid in harvest. The number approaches 65 million. Question, are most of these from the fourth density, or what density do they come from? Ra, few there are of fourth density. The largest number of wanders, as you call them, are of the sixth density. The desire to serve must be distorted towards a great deal of purity of mind and what you may call foolhardiness or bravery, depending upon your distortion, complex judgment. The challenge and danger of the wanderer is that it will forget its mission, become karmically involved, and thus be swept into the maelstrom of which it had incarnated to avert the destruction. Question. 
What could one of these entities do to become karmically involved? Could you give an example of that? Ra, an entity which acts in a consciously unloving manner in action with other beings can become karmically involved. Question, do many of these wanders have physical ailments in this third density situation? Ra, due to the extreme variance between the vibratory distortions of third density and those of the more dense densities, if you will, Wanders have, as a general rule, some form of handicap, difficulty, or feeling of alienation, which is severe. The most common of these difficulties are alienation, the reaction against the planetary vibration by personality disorders, as you would call them, and planetary complex ailments indicating difficulty in adjustment to the planetary vibration, such as allergies, as you would call them. Question. Thank you. Is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? Ra. We ask you to realign the object upon which the symbols sit. It is not a significant distortion for only one session, but you will find upon measuring the entire assemblage that the resting place is 1.4 degrees from the correct alignment, the resting place an additional 0.5 degrees away from proper alignment. Do not concern yourself with this in the space-time nexus present, but do not allow these distortions to remain over a long period of time or the contact will be gradually impaired. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator, Adonai. Session 13, January 29, 1981. I am Ra. I greet you in the love and light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Question. First of all, I would like to apologize for asking so many stupid questions while searching for what we should do. I consider what we are doing to be a great honor and privilege to also be humble messengers of the Law of One. I now believe that the way to prepare this book is to start at the beginning of creation and follow through the evolution of man on earth, investigating at all times how the Law of One was used. I would also like to make as the title of the book, The Law of One, and I would like to state as the author, Ra, would you agree to this? Ra, your query is unclear. Would you please state as separate queries each area of agreement? Question. First, I would like to start at the beginning of creation, as far back as we can go and follow the development of man to the present time. Is this agreeable? Ra. This is completely your discernment or understanding decision. Questioner. Second, I would like to title the book The Law of One by Ra. Is this agreeable? Ra. The title of the book is acceptable. The authorship by vibratory sound complex Ra is, in our distortion of understanding, incomplete. We are messengers. Questioner. Can you state who then should author the book? Ra. I can only request that if your discernment, understanding suggests the use of this vibratory sound complex Ra, the phrase, a humble messenger of the law of one, be appended. Question. Thank you. Can you tell me of the first known thing in the creation? I am Ra. The first thing known in the creation is infinity. The infinity is creation. Question. From this infinity, then must come what we experience as creation. What was the next step or the next evolvement? Ra. Infinity becomes aware. This was the next step. Question. After this, what came next? Ra. Awareness led to the focus of infinity into infinite energy. You have called this by various vibrational sound complexes the most common to your ears being Logos or Love. The Creator is the focusing of infinity as an aware or conscious principle called bias as closely as we can create understanding, learning in your language, intelligent infinity. Question. Can you state the next step? Ra. The next step is still at this space-time nexus in your illusion, achieving its progression as you may see it in your illusion. The next step is an infinite reaction to the creative principle, following the law of one in one of its primal distortions, freedom of will. Thus many, many dimensions, infinite in number are possible. The energy moves from the intelligent infinity, due first to the outpouring of randomized creative force. This then creating patterns, which in holographic style, appear as the entire creation, no matter which direction or energy is explored. These patterns of energy begin then to regularize their own local, shall we say, rhythms and fields of energy. 
thus creating dimensions and universes. Question. Then can you tell me how the galaxy and planetary systems were formed? Ra. You must imagine a great leap of thought in this query. For at the last query, the physical, as you call it, universes were not yet born. The energies moved in increasingly intelligent pattern until the individualization of various energies emanating from the creative principle of intelligent infinity became such as to be co-creators. Thus the so-called physical matter began. The concept of light is instrumental in grasping this great leap of thought, as this vibrational distortion of infinity is the building block of that which is known as matter. The light, being intelligent and full of energy, thus being the first distortion of intelligent infinity, which was called by the creative principle. This light of love was made to have its occurrence of being certain characteristics among them, the infinite whole paradoxically, described by the straight line as you would call it. This paradox is responsible for the shape of the various physical illusion entities you call solar systems, galaxies and planets of revolving and tending towards the lenticular. Question. I think I made an error in getting ahead of the process you are describing. Would it be helpful to fill in that great leap due to the mistakes I made? Ra, I attempted to bridge the gap, however you may question me in any manner you deem appropriate. Question. Taking the question just before the one I asked about the galaxy and planets, and tell me what the next step was from there. Ra, the steps as you call them are, at the point of question, simultaneous and infinite. Question. Can you tell me how intelligent infinity became, shall we say? I'm having difficulty with the language. How intelligent infinity became individualized from itself? Ra, this is an appropriate question. The intelligent infinity discerned a concept. This concept was discerned to be freedom of will of awareness. This concept was finity. This was the first and primal paradox or distortion of the law of one. Thus, the one intelligent infinity invested itself in an exploration of manyness. Due to the infinite possibility of intelligent infinity, there is no ending to manyness. The explanation thus is free to continue infinitely in an eternal present. Question. Was the galaxy that we are in created by the infinite intelligence, or was it created by a portion of the infinite intelligence? Ra, the galaxy and all other things of material of which you are aware are products of individualized portions of intelligent infinity. As each exploration began, in turn found its focus and became a co-creator. Using intelligent infinity, each portion created in the universe and allowing the rhythm of free choice to flow, playing with the infinite spectrum of possibilities. Each individualized portion channeled the love light into what you might call intelligent energy, thus creating the so-called natural laws of any particular universe. Each universe, in turn, individualized to a focus becoming, in turn, co-creator and allowing further diversity, thus creating further intelligent energies, regularizing or causing natural laws to appear in the vibrational patterns of what you would call a solar system. Thus, each solar system has its own, shall we say, local coordinate system of illusory natural laws. It shall be understood that any portion, no matter how small, of any density or illusory pattern contains, as in a holographic picture, the one creator which is infinity. Thus, all begins and ends in mystery. Question. Can you tell me how the individualized infinity created our galaxy, and if the same portion created our planetary system, and if so, how this came about. Ra, we may have misperceived your query. We were under the distortion impression that we had responded to this particular query. Would you restate the query? Question, I am wondering if the planetary system that we are now in was all created at once, or if our sun was created first and the planets later. Ra, the process is from the larger in your allusion to the smaller, thus the co-creator individualizing the galaxy. 
created energy patterns which then focused in multitudinous focuses of further conscious awareness of intelligent infinity. Thus the solar system of which you experience inhabitation is of its own pattern, rhythm, and so-called natural laws which are unique to itself. However, the progression is from the galaxy spiraling energy to the solar spiraling energy to the planetary spiraling energy to the experiential circumstances of spiraling energy which began the first density of awareness of consciousness of planetary entities. Question. Could you tell me about this first density of planetary entities? Ra, each step recapitulates intelligent infinity in its discovery of awareness. In a planetary environment, all begins in what you would call chaos, energy undirected and random in its infinity. Slowly, in your terms of understanding, there forms a focus of self-awareness. Thus the Logos moves. Light comes to form the darkness, according to the co-creator's pattern and vibratory rhythm, so constructing a certain type of experience. This begins with first density, which is the density of consciousness, the mineral and water life upon the planet learning from fire and wind the awareness of being. This is the first density. Question. How does this first density then progress to greater awareness? Ra. The spiraling energy which is the characteristic of what you might call light, moves in a straight line spiral, thus giving spirals an inevitable vector upwards to a more comprehensive beingness with regard to intelligent infinity. Thus, first dimensional beingness strives toward the second density lessons of a type of awareness which include growth rather than disillusion or random change. Question. Could you define what you mean by growth? Ra, picture, if you will, the difference between first vibrational mineral or water life and the lower second density beings, which begin to move about within and upon its being. This movement is the characteristic of second density, the striving towards light and growth. Question, by striving towards light, what do you mean? Ra, a very simplistic example of second density growth striving toward light is that of the leaf striving towards the source of light. Question. Is there any physical difference between first and second density? For instance, if I could see both a first and second density planet side by side, in my present condition, could I see both of them? Would they both be physical to me? Ra. This is correct. All of the octaves of your density would be clearly visible were not the fourth through the seventh freely choosing not to be visible. Question. Then how does the second density progress to the third? Ra, the second density strives toward the third density, which is the density of self-consciousness or self-awareness. The striving takes place through the higher second density forms who are invested by third density beings with an identity to the extent that they become self-aware mind-body complexes, thus becoming mind-body-spirit complexes and entering third density the first density of consciousness of spirit. Question. What is the density level of our planet Earth at this time? Ra. The sphere upon which you dwell is third density in its beingness of mind-body-spirit complex. It is now in a space-time continuum, fourth density. This is causing a somewhat difficult harvest. Question. How does a third density planet become a fourth density planet? Ra. This will be the last question. The fourth density is, as we have said, as regularized in its approach as the striking of a clock upon the hour. The space-time of your solar system has enabled this planetary sphere to spiral into space-time of a different vibrational configuration. This causes the planetary sphere to be able to be molded by these new distortions. However, the thought forms of your people during this transition period are such that the mind-body-spirit complexes of both individual and societies are scattered throughout the spectrum instead of being able to grasp the needle, shall we say, and point the compass in one direction. Thus the entry into the vibration of love, sometimes called by your people the vibration of understanding, is not effective with your present societal complex. 
Thus the harvest shall be such that many will repeat the third density cycle. The energies of your wanderers, your teachers, and your adepts at this time are all bent upon increasing the harvest. However, there are few to harvest. Question. I would like to apologize for sometimes asking inappropriate questions. It's difficult sometimes to ask precisely the right question. I don't wish to go over any ground that we've already covered. I notice that this period is slightly shorter than previous work session. Is there a reason for this? Ra, this instrument's vital energy is somewhat low. Question. I am assuming from this that it would be a good idea not to have another session today. Is this correct? Ra, it is well to have a session later if it is acceptable that we monitor this instrument and cease using it when it becomes low in the material which we take from it. We do not wish to deplete this instrument. Question. This is always acceptable in any session. I will ask my final question. Is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or aid in the communication? Ra. It is well. Each is most conscientious. Continue in the same. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator, Adonai. Session 14, January 29th. 1981. Ra, I greet you in the love and light of the infinite creator we communicate now. Question. After going over this morning's work, I thought it might be helpful to fill in a few things. You said that the second density strives toward the third density, which is a density of self-consciousness or self-awareness. The striving takes place through higher second density forms being invested by third density beings. Could you explain what you mean by this? Ra, much as you would put on a vestment, so do your third density beings invest or clothe some second density beings with self-awareness. This is often done through the opportunity of what you call pets. It has also been done by various other means of investiture. These include many so-called religious practice complexes which personify and send love to various natural second density beings in their group form. Question. When this earth was second density... How did the second density beings on it become so invested? Ra, there was not this type of investment as spoken, but the simple third density investment, which is the line of spiraling light, calling distortion upward from density to density. The process takes longer when there is no investment made by incarnate third density beings. Question, then what was the second density form? What did it look like that became earth man in the third density? What did he look like in the second density? Ra, the difference between second and third density bodily forms would in many cases have been more like one to the other. In the case of your planetary sphere, the process was interrupted by those who incarnated here from the planetary sphere you call Mars. They were adjusted by genetic changing and therefore there was some different which was of a very noticeable variety rather than the gradual raising of the bipedal form upon your second density level to third density level. This has nothing to do with the so-called placement of the soul. This has only to do with the circumstance of the influx of those from that culture. Question. I understand from previous material that this occurred 75,000 years ago. It was then that our third density process of evolution began. Can you tell me the history, hitting only the points of development, shall I say, that I occurred within this 75,000 years? any point when contact was made to aid this development. Raw, the first attempt to aid your people was at that time 75,000 years ago. This attempt, 75,000 of your years ago, has been previously described by us. The next attempt was approximately 58,000 of your years ago, continuing for a long period in your measurement, with those of Mu, as you call this race, or mind, body, spirit, social complex. The next attempt was long in coming and occurred approximately 13,000 of your years ago, when some intelligent information was offered to those of Atlantis, this being of the same type of healing and crystal working of which we have spoken previously. The next attempt was 11,000 of your years ago. These are approximations as we are not totally able to process your space-time continuum measurement system. This was in what you call Egypt, and of this we have also spoken. The same beings who came with us returned approximately 3,500 years later in order to attempt to aid the South American mind-body-spirit-social complex once again. However, the pyramids of those so-called cities were not to be used in appropriate fashion. 
Therefore, this was not pursued further. There was a landing approximately 3,000 years ago also in your South America, as you call it. There were a few attempts to aid your people approximately 2,300 years ago, this in the area of Egypt. The remaining part of the cycle, we have never been gone from your fifth dimension and have been working in this last minor cycle to prepare for harvest. Question. Was the Egyptian visit of 11,000 years ago the only one where you actually walked the earth? Ra. I understand your question distortion in the direction of selves rather than other selves. We of the vibratory sound complex Ra have walked among you only at that time. Question. I understand you to say in an earlier session that pyramids were built to ring the earth. How many pyramids were built? Ra. There are six balancing pyramids and 52 others built for additional healing and initiatory work among your mind, body, spirit, social complexes. Question. What is a balancing pyramid? Ra. Imagine, if you will, the many force fields of the earth in their geometrically precise web. Energy stream into the earth plane, as you would call them, from magnetically determined points. And due to the growing thought form distortions and understanding of the law of one, the planet itself was seen to have the potential for imbalance. The balancing pyramidal structures were charged with crystals, which drew the appropriate balance from the energy force streaming into the various geometrical centers of electromagnetic energy which surround and shape the planetary sphere. Question. Let me make a synopsis and you tell me if I am correct. All of these visits for the last 75,000 years were for the purpose of giving to the people of the earth an understanding of the law of one, and in this way allowing them to progress upward through the fourth, fifth, and sixth densities. This was to be a service to earth. The pyramids were used also in giving the law of one in their own way, the balancing pyramids. I'm not quite sure of. Am I right so far? Ra. You are correct to the limits of the precision allowed by language. Question. Did the balancing pyramid prevent the earth from changing its axis? Ra. This query is not clear. Please restate. Question. Does the balancing refer to the individual who is initiated in the pyramid, or does it refer to the physical balancing of the earth on its axis in space? Ra. The balancing pyramidal structures could be and were used for individual initiation. However, the use of these pyramids was also designed for the balancing of the planetary energy web. The other pyramids are not placed correctly for earth healing, but for healing of mind, body, spirit complexes. It came to our attention that your density was distorted towards what is called by our distortion understanding of third density on your planetary sphere, more of a time-space continuum in one incarnation pattern, in order to have a fuller opportunity to learn teach the laws or ways of the primordial distortion of the law of one, which is love. Question. I want to make this statement and you tell me if I am correct. The balancing pyramids were to do what we call increase the lifespan of entities here so that they would gain more wisdom of the law of one while they were in the physical at the one time. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. However, the pyramids not called by us the vibrational sound complex, balancing pyramids, were more numerous and were used exclusively for the above purpose and the teach learning of healers to charge and enable this process. Question. George Van Tassel built the machine in our western desert called an integratron. Will this machine work for the purpose of increasing lifespan? Ra. The machine is incomplete and will not function for the above mentioned purpose. Question. Who gave George the information on how to build it? Ra. There were two contacts which gave the entity with the vibratory sound complex George this information. One was of the Confederation. The second was of the Orion Group. The Confederation was caused to find the distortion towards non-contact due to the alteration of the vibrational mind complex patterns of the one called George. Thus, the Orion group uses instrument. However, this instrument, though confused, was a mind-body-spirit complex devoted at the heart to service to others. So the, shall we say, worst that could be done was to discredit this source. Question. Would there be any value to the people of this planet now to complete this machine? Ra. The harvest is now. 
there is not at this time any reason to include efforts along these distortions toward longevity, but rather to encourage distortions toward seeking the heart of self, for this which resides clearly in the violet ray energy field will determine the harvesting of each mind-body-spirit complex. Question. Going back to when we started this 75,000-year period, there was a harvest of 25,000 years after the start, which would be, make it 50,000 years ago. Can you tell me how many were harvested at that time? Ra, the harvest was none. Question. There was no harvest? What about 25,000 years ago? Ra, a harvesting began taking place in the latter portions, as you measure time-space of the second cycle, with individuals finding the gateway to intelligent infinity. The harvest at that time, though extremely small, was those entities of extreme distortion towards service to the entities who were now to repeat the major cycle. These entities, therefore, remained in third density, although they could at any moment, present nexus, leave this density through use of intelligent infinity. Question. Then in the harvest of 25,000 years ago, the entities who could have been harvested into the fourth density chose to remain here in service to this planetary population. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. Thus there was no harvest. But there were harvestable entities who shall choose the manner of their entrance into fourth dimension. Question. Then for the last 2,300 years you have been working to create as large a harvest as possible at the end of the total 75,000 year cycle. Can you state with respect to Law of One why you do this? Ra. I speak for the social memory complex termed Ra. We came among you to aid you. Our efforts and service were perverted. Our desire then is to eliminate as far as possible the distortion caused by those misreading our information and guidance. The general cause of service, such as the Confederation offers, is that of the primal distortion of the Law of One, which is service. The one being of the creation is like unto a body, if you will accept this third density analogy. Would we ignore a pain in the leg, a bruise upon the skin, a cut which is festering? No, there is no ignoring a call. We, the entities of sorrow, choose as our service the attempt to heal the sorrow which we are calling analogous to the pains of a physical body complex distortion. Question. Of what density level is Ra? Ra. I am sixth density with a strong seeking towards seventh density. The harvest for us will be in only approximately two and one-half million of your years, and it is our desire to be ready for harvest as it approaches in our space-time continuum. Question. And you ready yourselves for this harvest through your service you can provide. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. We offer the law of one, the solving of paradoxes, the balancing of love-light and light-love. Question. How long is one of your cycles? Ra, one of our cycles computes to 75 million of your years. Question. 75 million years? Ra, this is correct. Question. In your service and giving the law of one, do you work with any other planets in Earth at this time or just Earth? Ra, we work only with this planetary sphere at this time. Question. You stated that you were called by 352,000 Earth entities. Does this mean that it is this number that will understand and accept the Law of One. Ra, we cannot estimate the correctness of your statement, for those who call are not in every case able to understand the answer to their calling. Moreover, those who were not calling previously may, with great trauma, discover the answer to the call nearly simultaneously with their late call. There is no time space in call. Therefore, we cannot estimate the number of your mind-body-spirit complexes which will in your space-time continuum distortion hear and understand. Question. How do you normally perform your service of giving the Law of One? How have you done this over the last 2,300 years? How have you normally given this to Earth people? Ra, we have used channels such as this one, but in most cases the channels feel inspired by dreams and visions without being aware consciously of our identity or existence. This particular group has been accentuatedly trained to recognize such contact. This makes this group able to be aware of a focal or vibrational source of information. Question. When you contact the entities in their dreams and otherwise, 
these entities first have to be seeking in the direction of the law of one, is this correct? Ra, this is correct. For example, the entities of the nation Egypt were in a state of pantheism, as you may call a distortion toward separate worship of various portions of the Creator. We were able to contact one whose orientation was toward the one. Question. I assume that as the cycle ends and inconveniences occur, there will be some entities who start seeking or be catalyzed into seeking because of the trauma and will then hear your words telepathically or in written form such as this book. Is this correct? Ra, you are correct except in understanding that the inconveniences have begun. Question. Can you tell me who is responsible for transmitting the book Ohopsi? Ra, this was transmitted by one of the Confederation's social memory complex statuses whose idea, as offered to the Council, was to use some of the known physical history of the so-called religions or religious distortions of your cycle in order to veil and partially unveil aspects or primal distortions of the Law of One. All names can be taken to be created for their vibrational characteristics. The information buried within has to do with a deeper understanding of love and light and the attempts of infinite intelligence through many messengers to teach, learn those entities of your sphere. Question. Have there ever been any other books that you can name that are available for this purpose that have been given by the Confederation? Ra, we cannot share this information, for it would distort your discernment pattern in your future. You may ask about a particular volume. Question. Who transmitted the Urantia book? Ra, this was given by a series of discarnate entities of your own earthly plane, the so-called inner planes. This material is not passed by the Council. Question. Who spoke through Edgar Casey? Ra, no entity spoke through Edgar Casey. Question. Where did the information come from the Andrew Casey channel? Ra. We have explained before that the intelligent infinity is brought into intelligent energy from eighth density or octave. The one sound vibratory complex called Edgar uses gateway to view the present, which is not the continuum you experience, but the potential social memory complex of this planetary sphere. The term your people have used for this is the Akashic Record or the Hall of Records. This is the last question which you may now ask. Question. Is there anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to help during the transmission? Ra. We only reiterate the importance of alignment. This instrument is placed 0.2 degrees away from the direction of the resting place which is correct. This may be eyed, shall we say, by sight and the instrument reminded. You are being conscientious. Is there any brief question we may answer before the session is closed? Question. Can you tell me if we are accomplishing our efforts reasonably well? Ra. The law of one. There are no mistakes. I am Ra. I leave this instrument in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and peace of the one creator. Adonai. Session 15, January 30th, 1981. I am Ra. I greet you in the love and light of the infinite Creator. I communicate now. Question. I would like to apologize for any past and future stupid questions. They are due to the fact that I am searching for the proper entry into the investigation of the Law of One. I would like to ask about the use of the instrument. If it is a function of the time we use the instrument or the amount of words or information the instrument gives. In other words, do I have to hurry and ask questions? Or can I take my time to ask questions? Ra. There are two portions to your query. Firstly, this instrument's reserve of vital energy, which is a product of body, mind, and spirit distortions in the various complexes, is the key to the length of time which we may expend using this instrument. We searched your group and we contacted you for each in your group possesses significantly more vital energy of the body complex. However, this instrument was tuned most appropriately by the mind-body-spirit complex distortions of its beingness in this illusion. Therefore, we remained with this instrument. Second, we communicate at a set rate which is dependent upon our careful manipulation of this instrument. We cannot be more, as you would say, quick. Therefore, you may ask questions speedily, but the answers we have to offer are at a set pace given. Question. This isn't exactly what I meant. If it takes me, say, 45 minutes to ask my question, does that give the instrument only 15 minutes to answer? 
or could the instrument go over an hour all told with her answers? Ra, the energy required for this contact is entered into this instrument by a function of time. Therefore, the time is the factor as we understand your query. Question. Then I should ask my questions rapidly so that I do not reduce the time. Is this correct? Ra, you shall do as you deem fit. However, we may suggest to obtain the answers you require may mean that you invest some of what you experience as time. Although you lose the answer time, you gain thereby in the specificity of the answer. At many times in the past, we have needed clarification of hastily phrased questions. Question. Thank you. The first question is this. Why does rapid aging occur on this planet? Ra. Rapid aging occurs upon this third density planet due to an ongoing imbalance of receptor web complex in the etheric portion of the energy field of this planet. The thought form distortions of your peoples have caused the energy stream to enter the planetary magnetic atmosphere, if you would so term this web of energy patterns, in such a way that the proper streamings are not correctly imbued with balanced vibratory light love from the, shall we say, cosmic level of this octave of existence. Question. Do I assume correctly that one of your attempts in service of this planet was to help the population more fully understand and practice the law of one, so that this rapid aging could be changed to normal aging? Ra. You assume correctly to a great degree. Question. What is the greatest service that our population on this planet could perform individually? Ra. There is but one service. The law is one. The offering of self to Creator is the greatest service, the unity, the fountainhead. The entity who seeks the one Creator is with infinite intelligence. From this seeking, from this offering, a great multiplicity of opportunities will evolve depending upon the mind, body, spirit, complexes, distortions, with regard to the various illusory aspects or energy centers of the various complexes of your illusion. Thus, some become healers, some workers, some teachers, and so forth. Question. If an entity were perfectly balanced with respect to the law of one on this planet, would he undergo the aging process? Ra. A perfectly balanced entity would become tired rather than visibly aged. The lessons being learned, the entity would depart. However, this is appropriate and is a form of aging which your people do not experience. The understanding comes slowly, the body complex decomposing more rapidly. Question. Can you tell me a little more about the word balancing as we are using it? Ra. Picture, if you will, the one infinite. You have no picture. Thus the process begins. Love creating light, becoming love light, streams into the planetary sphere according to the electromagnetic web of points or nexi of entrance. These streamings are then available to the individual who, like the planet, is a web of electromagnetic energy fields which points or nexi of entrance. In a balanced individual, each energy center is balanced and functioning brightly and fully. The blockages of your planetary sphere cause some distortion of intelligent energy. The blockages of the mind-body-spirit complex further distort or unbalance this energy. There is one energy. It may be understood as love, light, or light, love, or intelligent energy. Question. Am I correct to assume that one of the blockages of the mind, body, spirit complex might be, shall we say, ego, and this could be balanced using a worthiness, unworthiness balance? Am I correct? Ra. This is incorrect. Question. Can you tell me how you balance the ego? Ra. We cannot work with this concept as it is misapplied and understanding cannot come from it. Question. How does an individual go about balancing himself? What is the first step? Ra. The steps are only one. That is, an understanding of the energy centers which make up the mind, body, spirit complex. This understanding may be briefly summarized as follow. The first balancing is of the Malkuth, or Earth, vibratory energy complex, called the Red Ray Complex. An understanding and acceptance of this energy is fundamental. The next energy complex, which may be blocked, is the emotional or personal complex, also known as the Orange Ray Complex. This blockage will often demonstrate itself as personal eccentricities 
or distortions with regard to self-conscious understanding or acceptance of self. The third blockage resembles most closely that which you have called ego. It is the yellow ray or solar plexus center. Blockages in this center will often manifest as distortions toward power manipulation and other social behaviors concerning those close and those associated with the mind-body-spirit complex. Those with blockages in these first three energy centers, or NEXI, will have continuing difficulties and ability to further their seeking of the Law of One. The center of heart, or green ray, is the center from which third density beings may springboard, shall we say, to infinite intelligence. Blockages in this area may manifest as difficulties in expressing what you may call universal love or compassion. The blue ray center of energy streaming is the center which, for the first time, is outgoing as well as in pouring. Those blocked in this area may have difficulty in grasping the spirit-mind complex of its own entity and further difficulty in expressing such understanding of self. Entities blocked in this area may have difficulties in accepting communication from other mind-body-spirit complexes. The next center is the pineal or indigo ray center. Those blocked in this center may experience a lessening of the influx of intelligent energy due to manifestation which appear as unworthiness. This is that of which you spoke. As you can see, this is but one of the many distortions due to the several points of energy influx into the mind-body-spirit complex. The indigo ray balancing is quite central to the type of work which revolves about the spirit complex, which has its influx then into the transformation or transmutation of third density to fourth density it being the energy center receiving the least distorted outpouring of love light from intelligent energy, and also the potential for the key to the gateway of intelligent infinity. The remaining center of energy influx is simply the total expression of the entity's vibratory complex of mind, body, and spirit. It is, as it will be, balanced or imbalanced, has no meaning at this energy level, for it gives and takes in its own balance. Whatever the distortion may be, it cannot be manipulated, as can the others, and therefore has no particular importance in viewing the balancing of an entity. Question. You previously gave us information on what we should do in balancing. Is there any publishable information you can give us now about particular exercise or methods of balancing these energy centers? Ra. The exercise given for publication, seen in comparison, with the material now given, are in total a good beginning. It is important to allow each seeker to enlighten itself rather than for any messenger to attempt to language to teach learn for the entity, thus being teach learner and learn teacher. This is not in balance with your third density. We learn from you, we teach to you, thus we teach learn. If we learned for you, this would cause imbalance in the direction of the distortion of free will. There are other items of information available. However, you have not yet reached these items in your line of questioning, and it is our belief, feeling complex, that the questioner shall shape this material in such a way that your mind-body-spirit complexes shall have entry to it. Thus, we answer your queries as they arise in your mind complex. Question. Yesterday you stated that the harvest is now. There is not at this time any reason to include efforts along this line of longevity, but rather to encourage efforts to seek the heart of self. This which resides clearly in the violet ray energy field will determine the harvest of the mind-body-spirit complex. Could you tell us the best way to seek the heart of self? Ra, we have given you this information in several wording. However, we can only say the material for your understanding is the self, the mind, body, spirit complex. You have been given information upon healing, as you call this distortion. This information may be seen in a more general context as a way to understanding the self. The understanding, experiencing, accepting, and merging of self with self, and other self, and finally with the Creator, is the path to the heart of self. In each infinitesimal part of yourself resides the one in all of its power. Therefore, we can only encourage these lines of contemplation or prayer as a means of subjectively, objectively using or combining various understandings to enhance the seeking process. 
Without such a method of reversing the analytical process, one could not integrate into unity the many understanding gained in such seeking. Question. I don't mean to ask the same question twice, but there are some areas that I consider so important that possibly a greater understanding may be obtained if the answer is restated a number of times in other words. I thank you for your patience. Yesterday you also mentioned that when there was no harvest at the end of the last 25,000 year period, there were harvestable entities who shall choose the manner of their entrance into the fourth density. Could you tell me what you meant by they shall choose the manner of their entry into the fourth density? Ra, these shepherds, or as some have called them, the elder race, shall choose the time-space of their leaving. They are unlikely to leave until their other selves are harvestable also. Question. What do you mean by their other selves being harvestable? Ra, the other selves with whom these beings are concerned are those which did not attain harvest during the second major cycle. Question. Could you tell me just a small amount of the history of what you call the elder race? Ra, the question is unclear. Please restate. Question. I ask this question because I have heard of the elder race before in a book, Road in the Sky, by George Hunt Williamson, and I was wondering if this elder race was the same that he talked about. Ra, the question now resolves itself, for we have spoken previously of the manner of decision-making, which caused these entities to remain here upon the closing of the second major cycle of your current master cycle. There are some distortions in the description of the one known as Michael. However, these distortions have to do primarily with the fact that these entities are not a social memory complex, but rather a group of mind-body-spirit complexes dedicated to service. These entities work together, but are not completely unified. Thus, they do not completely see each other's thoughts, feelings, and motives. However, their desire to serve is the fourth dimensional type of desire thus melding them into what you may call a brotherhood. Question. Why do you call them the elder race? Ra. We called them thusly to acquaint you, the questioner, with their identity as is understood by your mind complex distortion. Question. Are there any wanders with the elder race? Ra. These are planetary entities harvested, wanders only in the sense that they chose, in fourth dimension density love, to immediately reincarnate in third density, rather than proceeding towards fourth density. This causes them to be wanderers of a type, wanderers who have never left the earth plane because of their free will, rather than because of their vibrational level. Question. In yesterday's material you mentioned that the first distortion was the distortion of free will. Is there a sequence, a first, a second, and a third distortion of the law of one? Ra. Only up to a very short point. After this point, the manyness of distortions are equal one to another. The first distortion, free will, finds focus. This is the second distortion known to you as logos, the creative principle or love. This intelligent energy thus creates a distortion known as light. From these three distortions come many, many hierarchies of distortion, each having its own paradoxes to be synthesized no one being more important than another. Question. You also said that you offered the law of one, which is the balancing of love-light with light-love. Is there any difference between light-love and love-light? Ra. This will be the final question of this time-space. There is the same difference between love-light and light-love as there is between teach-learning and learn-teaching. Love-light is the enabler the power, the energy giver. Light love is the manifestation which occurs when light has been impressed with love. Question. Is there anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? Can we have two sessions today? Ra. This instrument requires a certain amount of manipulation of the physical or body complex due to a stiffness. Other than this, all is well. The energy is being balanced. There is a slight distortion in the mental energy of this instrument due to concern for a loved one, as you call it. This is only slightly lowering the vital energies of the instrument. Given a manipulation, this instrument will be well for another working. Question. By manipulation, do you mean that she should go for a walk or that we should rub her back? Ra. 
We meant the latter. The understanding must be added that this manipulation be done by one in harmony with the entity. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and light of the infinite Creator. Go forth, then, rejoicing in the power and peace of the one infinite Creator. Adonai. Session 16, January 31, 1981. I am Ra. I greet you in the love and light of the infinite Creator. We communicate now. Question. I would like to ask, considering the free will distortion of the law of one, how can the guardians quarantine the earth? Is this quarantine within free will? Ra. The guardians guard the free will distortion of the mind-body-spirit complex of third density on this planetary sphere. The events which required activation of quarantine were interfering with the free will distortion of mind-body-spirit complexes. Question. I may be wrong, but it seems to me that it would be the free will of, say, the Orion group to interfere. How is this balanced with the information which you just gave? Ra. The balancing is from dimension to dimension. The attempts of the so-called crusaders to interfere with free will are acceptable upon the dimension of their understanding. However, the mind-body-spirit complex of this dimension you call third form a dimension of free will which is not able to, shall we say, recognize in full the distortions toward manipulation. Thus, in order to balance the dimensional variances in vibration, a quarantine, this being a balanced situation whereby the free will of the Orion group is not stopped but given a challenge. Meanwhile, the third group is not hindered from free choice. Question. Could these windows that occur to let the Orion group come through once in a while have anything to do with this free will balancing? Ra, this is correct. Questioner, could you tell me how this works? Ra, the closest analogy would be a random number generator within certain limits. Question, what is the source of this random number generator? Is it created by the guardians to balance their guarding, or is it a source other than the guardians? Ra, all sources are one. However, we understand your query. The window phenomena is on another self phenomena from the guardians. It operates from the dimension beyond space-time, in what you may call the area of intelligent energy. Like your cycles, such balancing, such rhythms are as a clock striking. In the case of the windows, no entity have the clock, therefore it seems random. It is not random in the dimension which produces this balance. That is why we stated the analogy was within certain limits. Question. Then this window balancing prevents the guardians from reducing their positive polarization by totally eliminating the Orion contact through shielding. Is this correct? Ra, this is partially correct. In effect, the balancing allows an equal amount of positive and negative influx. This balanced by the mind-body-spirit distortions of the social complex. Thus, in your particular planetary sphere, less negative, as you would call it, information or stimulus is necessary than positive due to the somewhat negative orientation of your social complex distortion. Question. In this way, total free will is balanced so that individuals may have an equal opportunity to choose service to others or service to self. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. Question. This is a profound revelation. I believe in the law of free will. Thank you. This is a minor question further to make an example of this principle. But if the Confederation landed on Earth, they would be taken as gods, breaking the law of free will and thus reducing their polarization of service to all. I assume that the same thing would happen if the Orion group landed. How would this affect their polarization of service to self if they were able to land and become known as gods? Ra, in the event of mass landing of the Orion group, the effect of polarization would be strongly toward an increase in the service to self, precisely the opposite of the former opportunity which you mentioned. Question. If the Orion group was able to land, would this increase their polarization? What I am trying to get at is, is it better for them to work behind the scenes to get recruits, shall we say, from our planet, the person from our planet going strictly on his own free will, or is it just as good for the Orion group to land on our planet and demonstrate remarkable powers and get people like that. Ra, this first instance is, in the long run, shall we put it, more salubrious for the Orion group in that it does not infringe upon the law of one by landing, and thus does it work through those on this planet. 
In the second circumstance, a mass landing would create a loss of polarization due to the infringement upon the free will of the planet. However, it would be a gamble. If the planet then were conquered and became part of the empire, the free will would then be re-established. This is restrained in action due to the desire of the Orion group to progress towards the one creator. This desire to progress inhibits the group from breaking the law of confusion. Question. You mentioned the word empire in relation to the Orion group. I have thought for some time that the movie Star Wars was somehow an allegory for what has actually happened. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct in the same way that a simple children's story is an allegory for physical, philosophical, social complex distortion understanding. Question. Is there a harvest of entities oriented towards service to self like there is a harvest of those oriented towards service to others? Ra, there is one harvest. Those able to enter fourth density through vibrational complex levels may choose the manner of their further seeking the one creator. Question. Then as we enter the fourth density, there will be a split, shall we say, and part of the individuals who go into the fourth density will go into planets or places where there is a service to others and part will go into places where there is service to self. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. Question. Can you tell me about the origin of the Ten Commandments? Ra, the origin of these commandments follows the law of negative entities impressing information upon positively oriented mind-body-spirit complexes. The information attempted to copy or ape positively while retaining negative characteristics. Question. Was this done by the Orion Group? Ra, this is correct. Question. What was their purpose in doing this? Ra, the purpose of the Orion group, as mentioned before, is conquest and enslavement. This is done by finding and establishing an elite and causing others to serve the elite through various devices, such as the laws you mentioned and others given by this entity. Question. Was the recipient of the commandments positively or negatively oriented? Ra, the recipient was one of extreme positivity thus accounting for some of the pseudo-positive characteristics of the information received. As with contacts which are not successful, this entity, vibratory complex, Moishi, did not remain a credible influence among those who had first heard the philosophy of one, and this entity was removed from this third density vibratory level in a lessened or saddened state, having lost what you may call the honor and faith with which he had begun the conceptualization of the Law of One, and freeing of those who were of his tribe, as they were called at that time space. Question. If this entity was positively oriented, how was the Orion group able to contact him? Ra. This was an intensive, shall we say, battleground between positively oriented forces of confederation origin and negatively oriented sources. The one called Moishi was open to impression and received the Law of One in its most simple form. However, the information became negatively oriented due to his people's pressure to do specific physical things in the third density plane. This left the entity open for the type of information and philosophy of self-service nature. Question. It would be wholly unlikely an entity fully aware of the knowledge of the Law of One to ever say, Thou shalt not. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. Question. Can you give me some kind of history of your social memory complex and how you became aware of the Law of One? I am Ra. The path of our learning is graven in its present moment. There is no history as we understand your concept. Picture, if you will, a circle of being. We know the Alpha and Omega as infinite intelligence. The circle never ceases. It is present. The densities we have traversed at various points in the circle correspond to the characteristics of cycles. First, the cycle of awareness. Second, the cycle of growth. Third, the cycle of self-awareness. Fourth, the cycle of love or understanding. Fifth, the cycle of light or wisdom. Sixth, the cycle of light-love, love-light, or unity. And seventh, the gateway cycle. Eighth, the octave which moves into the mystery we do not plumb. Question. Thank you very much. In previous material before we communicated with you, 
It was stated by the Confederation that there is actually no past or future, that all is present. Would this be a good analogy? Ra. There is past, present, and future in third density. In an overview such as an entity may have, removed from the space-time continuum, it may seem that in the cycle of completion there exists only the present. We ourselves seek to learn this understanding. At the seventh level or dimension we shall, if our humble efforts are sufficient, become one with all, thus having no memory, no identity, no past or future, but existing in the all. Question. Does this mean that you would have awareness of all it is? Ra, this is partially correct. It is our understanding that it would not be our awareness, but simply awareness of the Creator. In the Creator is all that there is. Therefore, this knowledge would be available. Question. I was wondering how many inhabited planets there are in our galaxy, and if they all reach higher density by the law of one. It doesn't seem that there would be any other way to reach higher density. Is this correct? Ra, please restate your query. Question. How many inhabited planets are there in our galaxy? Ra, we are assuming that you intend all dimensions of consciousness or densities of awareness in this question. Approximately one-fifth of all planetary entities contain awareness of one or more densities. Some planets are hospitable only for certain densities. Your planet, for instance, is at this time hospitable for densities 1, 2, 3, and 4. Question. Roughly how many total planets in this galaxy of stars that we are in are where regardless of density? Ra. Approximately 67 million. Question. Can you tell me what percentage of those are 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th density? Ra. A percentage 17 for first density a percentage 20 for second density, a percentage 27 for third density, a percentage 16 for fourth density, a percentage 6 for fifth density. The other information must be withheld. Question. Of these first five densities, have all of the plants progressed from third density by knowledge and application of the law of one? Ra, this is correct. Question. Then the only way for a planet to get out of the situation that we are in is for the population to become aware and start practicing the Law of One. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. Question. Can you tell me what percentage of the third, fourth, and fifth density planets, which you have spoken of here, are polarized negatively towards service to self? Ra, this is not a query to which we may speak given the Law of Confusion. We may say only that the negatively or self-service oriented planetary spheres are much fewer. To give you exact numbers would not be appropriate. Question. I would like to make an analogy as to why there are fewer negatively oriented and then ask if the analogy is good. In a positively oriented society with service to others, it would be simple to move a large boulder by getting everyone to help move it. In a society oriented towards service to self, it would be much more difficult to get everyone to work for the good of all to move the boulder. Therefore, it is much easier to get things done, to create the service to others principle, and to grow in positively oriented communities than in negatively oriented communities. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. Question. Thank you very much. Can you tell me how the Confederation of Planets was formed and why? Ra, the desire to serve being begins in the dimension of love or understanding, to be an overwhelming goal of the social memory complex. Thus, those percentiles of planetary entities, plus approximately 4% more of whose identity we cannot speak, found themselves long, long ago in your time seeking the same thing, service to others. The relationship between these entities as they entered an understanding of other beings, other planetary entities, and other concepts of service was to share and continue together these commonly held goals of service. Thus, each voluntarily placed the social memory complex data in what you may consider a central thought complex available to all. This then created a structure whereby each entity could work in its own service while calling upon any other understanding needed to enhance the service. This is the cause of the formation and the manner of the working of the Confederation. Question. 
With such a large number of planets in this galaxy, you say that there are approximately 500 planets in the Confederation. There seems to be a relatively small number of Confederation planets around. Is there a reason for it? Ra, there are many Confederations. This Confederation works with the planetary spheres of seven of your galaxies, if you will, and is responsible for the calling of the densities of these galaxies. Question, would you define the word galaxy as you just used it? Ra, we use the term in this sense as you would use star system. Question, I'm a little bit confused as to how many total planets the confederation that you are in serves. Ra, I see the confusion. We have difficulty with your language. The galaxy term must be split. We call galaxy that vibrational complex that is local. Thus, your sun is what we would call the center of a galaxy. We see you have another meaning for this term. Question. Yes, in our science, the term galaxy refers to the lenticular star system that contains millions and millions of stars. There was a confusion about this in one of our earlier communications, and I'm glad to get it cleared up. Using the term galaxy in the sense that I just stated, using the lenticular star system that contains millions of stars, do you know of evolution in other galaxies besides this one? Ra, we are aware of life in infinite capacity. You are correct in this assumption. Question, can you tell me if the progression of life in other galaxies is similar to the progression of life in our galaxy? Ra, the progression is somewhat close to the same a symptomatically approaching congruency throughout infinity. The free choosing of what you would call galactic system causes variations of an extremely minor nature from one of your galaxies to another. Question. Then the law of one is truly universal in creating a progression towards the eighth density in all galaxies. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. There are infinite forms, infinite understanding, but the progression is one. Question. I am assuming that it is not necessary for an individual to understand the law of one to go from the third to the fourth density is this correct. Ra, it is absolutely necessary that an entity consciously realize it does not understand in order for it to be harvestable. Understanding is not of this density. Question, that is a very important point. I used the wrong word. What I meant to say was that I believed that it was not necessary for an entity to be consciously aware of the law of one to go from the third to the fourth density. Ra, that is correct. Question, at what point in the densities is it necessary for an entity to be consciously aware of the law of one in order to progress? Ra, the fifth density harvest is that of those whose vibratory distortions consciously accept the honor duty of the law of one. This responsibility honor is the foundation of this vibration. Question. Can you tell me a little more about this honor responsibility concept? Ra. Each responsibility is an honor. Each honor a responsibility. Question. Thank you. Is it possible for you to give a short description of the conditions in the fourth density? Ra. We ask you to consider as we speak that there are not words for positively describing fourth density. We can only explain what is not and approximate what is. Beyond fourth density, our ability grows more limited until we become without words. That which fourth density is not, it is not of words unless chosen. It is not of heavy chemical vehicles for body complex activities. It is not of disharmony within self. It is not of disharmony within people. It is not within limits of possibility to cause disharmony in any way. Approximations of positive statements. It is a plane of type of bipedal vehicle, which is more dense and more full of life. It is a plane wherein one is aware of the thought of other selves. It is a plane wherein one is aware of vibrations of other selves. It is a plane of compassion and understanding of the sorrows of third density. It is a plane striving towards wisdom of light. It is a plane wherein individual differences are pronounced, although automatically harmonized by group consensus. Question. Could you define the word density as we have been using it? Ra. The term density is a, what you call, mathematical one. The closest analogy is that of music. Whereby, after seven notes on your western type of scale, if you will, the eighth note begins a new octave. 
Within your great octave of existence, which we share with you, there are seven octaves or densities. Within each density, there are seven sub-densities. Within each sub-density are seven sub-sub-densities. Within each sub-sub-density, seven sub-sub-sub-densities, and so on infinitely. Question. I notice that the time of this session has gone slightly over an hour. I would like to ask at this time if we should go on. What is the condition of the instrument? Ra, this instrument is in balance. It is well to continue if you desire. Question. I understand that each density has seven subdensities, which again have seven subdensities and so on. This is expanding at a really large rate as each is increased by powers of seven. Does this mean that in any density level, anything that you can think of is happening? Ra, from your confusion, we select the concept with which you struggle, that being infinity opportunity. You may consider any possibility, probability complex, as having an existence. Question. Do things like daydreams become real in other densities? Ra, this depends upon the nature of the daydream. This is a large subject. Perhaps the simplest things we can say. If the daydream, as you call it, is one which attracts to self, this then becomes reality to self. If it is a contemplative general daydream, this may enter the infinity of possibility, probability, complexes, and occur elsewhere, having no particular attachment to the energy fields of the Creator. Question. To make this a little more clear, if I were to daydream strongly about building a ship, would this occur in one of these other densities? Ra. This would, would have, or shall occur. Question. Then if an entity daydreams strongly about battling an entity, would this occur? Ra. In this case, the entity's fantasy concerns thyself and other self, this binding the thought form to the possibility, probability complex, connected with the self which is the creator of this thought form. This, then, would increase the possibility, probability, of bringing this into third density occurrence. Question. Does the Orion group use this principle to create conditions favorable to suit their purpose? Ra. We will answer more specifically than the question. The Orion group uses daydreams of hostile or other negative nature to feed back or strengthen these thought forms. Question. Are the many wanderers who have and are coming to our planet subject to the Orion thoughts? Ra. As we have said before, wanderers become completely the creature of third density in mind-body complex. There is just as much chance of such influence to a wanderer entity as to a mind-body-spirit complex of this planetary sphere. The only difference occurs in the spirit complex, which, if it wishes, has an armor of light, if you will, which enables it to recognize more clearly that which is not as it would appropriately be desired by the mind-body-spirit complex. This is not more than bias and cannot be called an understanding. Furthermore, the wanderer is, in its own mind-body-spirit, less distorted toward the, shall we say, deviousness of third density, positive-negative confusions. Thus it often does not recognize as easily as a more negative individual the negative nature of thought or beings. Question. Then would the wanderers, as they incarnate here, be high-priority targets of the Orion group? Ra, this is correct. Question. If a wanderer should be successfully infringed upon, shall I say, by the Orion group, what would happen to this wanderer when harvest came? Ra, if the wander entity demonstrated through action a negative orientation towards other selves, it would be, as we have said before, caught into the planetary vibration and when harvested, possibly repeat again the master cycle of third density as a planetary entity. This shall be the last full question of this session. Is there a short question we may answer before we close this session? Question. Can the instrument be made more comfortable? Ra, this instrument is as comfortable as possible for you to make it, given the weakness distortions of its body complex. You are conscientious. I am Ra, I leave you in the loving and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace, Adonai.